Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to discuss on a topic that was really confusing for me when I was a student. Now as I am teaching, I have realized that many students still face challenges in understanding what exactly the software engineering is and how it is different from the computer science. Many misconceptions and wrong belief exist in, even among the educators. There is a misconception that the software engineering purely revolve around the theoretical aspects. Today, my aim is to leave you with a crystal clear understanding of the what software engineering is and how it is different from the computer science. Here are four pictures. One is JF-17, Gori Masail. These two are both Pakistani products. Here is Google and you are now, whenever you don't know anything, you just start Googling it. Or uh, nowadays, chat GPT has a huge impact on our lives. In whenever we have to do something, we just try it in, uh, it in and we start doing. Here is Facebook. Everyone is on Facebook. Don't know how many users. I could not even give you a count how many users are currently logged in. Surely a great number. Wait a few minutes uh, and think about um, what do they all products have in common? So hopefully it is pretty easy to think that all of them have code in common and a lot of it. Just for the reference, I was uh, really surprised when I heard that the GF-17 and the Gori Missile has more line of code than they. Uh, it does have parts, including nuts and bolts. Uh, how many line of code specifically? Windows 10 have 50 million line of code. Facebook have 61 million line of code. Mac operating system has 90 million line of code. Here is the little mistake, approximately 90 million line of code it does have. And these are really huge software systems that really cannot be thought of single line or single class at a time. The software engineers need to think about the design at different levels. From one line of code to up to the entire system. So let's think about Sketchful for the moment. If I can write one line of code per minute uh, and then I will write 60 line of code per hour and uh, on an average there are 40 working week, uh, work hours in a week. Then if I multiply it with the 40, I will get 2400 source line of code per week. And uh, on an average, there are 50 weeks in a year. <laughs> and I can try it 120,000 line of code per year. Overall, a software engineer, one software engineer can write 120,000 source line of code per year. Pulling all together, if I have a project of 2 million line of code estimated, then with this amount of uh, time, I can find out that, that how much how many engineers I need to work on it to get it done. So you get the feeling that these things need to be planned a lot and also that you need to work in a team. And also it is uh, writing one line of code per minute is uh, actually a pretty hot shot in the software industry. And uh, uh, mainly because so much of your job as a software engineer is uh, mm, much more than writing code. According to the QoS project management report, the coding is uh, around 13% of a project overall effort. This means that a significant portion of the project effort is dedicated to other critical activities. Let's take an example of Amazon. Amazon.com is a large website and pretty complex. The software engineers but, um, for going to go a software upgrade. It was pretty small, um, 
but it did not go well and uh, uh, there was the system was out of service for 90 minutes what do you think is it priceless definitely not it estimated 2.8 million dollars in lost for the amazon the system was this system was not safety critical system but it was definitely the financial critical system so this team needed a better understanding of the process for developing the financial critical systems and how to bring an upgrade without online without taking down the system in this case, Amazon would have benefited from a better defined software development process. As a software engineer, you have to answer a lot of questions. One question is how much code you have to write. And, uh, but there are a lot of other questions. How can I help the customers? How will the user interact with the system? What operating system language and hardware is going to be used? What is the overall software system structure? And how do different components interact with each other? How do I organize my team so we are effective? How do I change, uh, handle the change request? There are many more questions. The real common trend here is that you have to talk to a lot of people to make the things happen. You have to interact with the customers who are asking for the system. You have to talk to people who will use the system. You have to interact with the domain experts. You have to talk to scientists. You have to talk to the engineers from the other discipline. And you also have to interact with the people from engineer, engineer from your own team. Another big underlying theme here is the communication software engineering is very social activity issue here you do not need to sit in a cube and write the code alone you are always um, working with the people and it is very people driven field but that does not mean the software engineering engineer don't need to get their hand dirty with programming writing programs choosing the latest technology and techniques and also it is important to note that it's not just project management or uh, communication, but it is also not the coding either. By now, might be, uh, might be you are saying that uh, software engineering does not exactly equal to the computer science. Now try to focus on this thing. Both majors software engineering and computer science. Both these fields try to solve the real world problems using code, but focus on this, but how they go about that is very different. Both the fields try to solve the real world problems using code, but how they go about that is very different. For example, if a bridge falls down, who is scientists are engineer responsible for it. well not so much the scientists more the engineers scientists build things to learn something new engineer learn the things to design and build the quality products scientists want to achieve scientific breakthrough and engineers want to avoid engineering failures so computer scientists want to understand the algorithms and the foundation of computing theory. And a software engineer want to learn the design principle and best practices for building the quality software. Lastly, computer scientists want to know how to, mm, the basic technology works and where to improve it. And Whereas on the uh, other hand, software engineers want to know the characteristic of the technology so they can design the most appropriate technology for their software systems. In the end, there are two quotations. One is uh, by Edward Deming. It is not enough to do your best. You must know what to do and then do your best. And uh, one is by Einstein. A clever person solves a problem, a wise person avoids it. As a software engineer, you need to be a wise person rather than being clever. So thank you.